The Simula One VR headset is a very neat headset that's expected to come out later this year. The idea behind this headset is it will offer you to have a full desktop workspace entirely in a Linux VR distro and you can run this entirely off of a standalone headset. It's a really neat little idea that's expected to be really awesome to be able to work with. But that's not what we're here to talk about today. Today we're talking about the OS that they designed for the Simula One VR headset. They actually allow for us to have a look at the Simula OS and see exactly how Simula is going to function when it finally comes out later this year. What's even better is that the Simula OS is supposed to be able to work with any VR headset that already works with SteamVR and even some other experimental headsets that they claim that they may be able to support later on down line. So today, we're going to give this a look with the Valve Index, we're going to see just how well the Simula OS performs. But before we go ahead and jump into that, if you enjoyed this video and want to see more just like this one, be sure to like and subscribe button down below. And with that, let's jump right into the video. Now, if their GitHub readme is to be believed, this should actually be a fairly simple installation. All you need to do is, if you don't already have it, install Git. And if you do have Git, all you need to do is run, it looks like four or five commands and you should be all good to go if it's to be believed, we're about to find that out right now. So what actually makes Simula OS so special? I mean, to be quite clear, I've done something similar where I was able to work in VR for a whole week. Well, actually a couple things. One, this is the first complete OS that's fully able to run any VR application. Something that I ran into an issue with quite a few times while I was running my experiments as working without a monitor like you see here. Second thing is that th they've actually claimed to have even better text quality than what you get on just about any other device currently on the market. And they claim to have done this by changing the, their rendering methodology in order to support text even better than what most VR headsets currently do. So we're going to end up finding out just how true all this is. One of the first things that I got here <laughs> was, is, is I get this little uh, message from the Simula com contributors. Uh, in order to show project funders that Simula is useful, we anonymously collect, data, collect the following data. And then they list it session length, number of windows active, and error logs on crashes. Now, honestly, for me personally, I don't think a lot of this is a big deal. Um, it's not like they're tracking like what I'm doing hopefully. Um, however, I do kind of have to say I still am not overly for having my having other people see what I am doing. The logs kind of make sense to me. I don't mind the I, I don't mind the logs. I don't mind seeing how long the Simula OS is running. I think both those are perfectly fine. But I mean Windows active, I'm kind of Eh, about. Um, the other thing is I have no idea what I'm supposed to do once I hit this page. There is no prompt and it doesn't seem to be doing anything. So... I, I tried pressing enter and why. <laughs> those, those are kind of mo two most common things you press, right? Neither of those are working. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to need to, I think I'm going to need to fight with this a little bit. All right, so apparently there's just some really, really long delay where it, you get that message from the contributors. Maybe they just really want you to, to see that they're gonna be collecting specific data. It, it just started going while I was reading through the readme. <laughs> All right, so I have to know right here, um, reading through the readme some more, they claim that they, that they support, experimentally at least, PSVR. I didn't realize that was an option on PC platforms. Huh. That, I, I don't have a, a PSVR headset, but if I did, I would really much like to see that. That sounds like it'd be awesome. So it, so like I said, SteamVR does need to be running for this to work. Um, I'd be a little bit curious as to how their headset works, the, the Simula One headset. I'm assuming it doesn't run through SteamVR, but that's how the Index, uh, HTC Vive, any of those headsets are supposed to run. Um, by the way, I just have to say, their readme said that this should be done in under a minute. 
I've been, I've been waiting on my computer for about half an hour, all right? This is not a one minute procedure, at least it wasn't for me, all right? Man, all these lies around here. All right, anyways. Um, so everything should be all set to go. It should just be as simple as running a single command and hopefully it should work. So let, let's find out, let's find out. Uh, bin simula. Okay, so um, optionally you can provide an email. I'm not gonna do that. Just, just go and leave that. And it looks like it's all set up and good to go. So let's go ahead and find out how this works. I'm excited. Um, this isn't working. <laughs> um, Simula, hello? All right, so I think I accidentally crashed in the, <laughs> in the background. I may need to restart my computer. Um, but I did finally figure out what the issue was. I did have the index running for a second. Um, I was trying to get, I was trying to double check the saying so that way I could tell you guys. Um, I went to SteamVR and set SteamVR as the OpenXR runtime. I think that's the exact name. Uh, it's a developer setting option, uh, like the last one, I believe. So uh, I did that and I mean, I think I may have crashed my computer trying to quit, trying to quit out of Simula again. Um, but it was working. I did have our preview here moving with the um, mo moving with the index. So I think I need to restart this because I don't think that this is working. I don't see my mouse or anything. All right. So good news. It does now in fact work. So you can actually see everything now moving with the headset. So they do actually have a whole bunch of various commands for uh, Simula, Simula OS. They listed down here near the bottom of their readme. Uh, everything from ending Simula. Uh, the one thing I'm trying to find at the moment is recentering because it is a little bit off center. I don't know if that's something I can just do in SteamVR. Let's see here. Something I'd be really interested to see, as a matter of fact, is there is a preview window that you can get to actually see your keyboard and mouse. That sounds like it would, it would be very, very useful. So it looks like uh, inputs are mirrored between the two controllers. It looks like that does not change. I'm a little annoyed. I have three different terminals. None of these were the ones that I opened. Okay, so we're gonna try a few commands here that I'm seeing here. So let's try a couple of these. Uh, one of them is supposed to be super A. That opens something. <laughs> it's not so helpful that's behind this terminal. Can I close this? There we go. Oh, well, all right. I must move that at some point. So over here, it looks kind of backwards. Can I, here, I'm gonna try spawning it over here. Hold on. Oh, okay, that was the wrong one. That was back backgrounds. You know what though? They do have some pretty nice backgrounds. I will give them that one. How many we got here? Oh. Oh yeah, we got some real nice backgrounds going on here. I have my uh <laughs> I have my fingers in the wrong place. Um what's something? Let's open up Firefox. There we go. There we go, and we got Firefox opened up. So let me see. I think I can resize this a little bit. Yeah, there we go. So I can make this all widescreen. I will say, this looks great. I uh, like this is just, this looks so much better than what I was getting on my PC. This is amazing. Let, let's jump into something. Let's jump into, what do we got here, YouTube? Let's jump into YouTube. Look at that. That text looks amazing. I love that. That's awesome. Let's, you know what, Let, let's go, let's, oh, <laughs> I'm having trouble typing. All right, video does look a little bit choppy. Um, it's not terrible. It's honestly pretty, uh, it's honestly significantly smoother than what I was expecting, but it is just a little bit choppy. I don't know what's going on with the audio. I don't know if that's an issue with my PC or if that's something else altogether. But yeah, that is, um, oh, I see, okay. Hmm, 
I don't know that I enjoy that so much. See, okay, now now we're starting to see some issues here. Uh, YouTube text here. I cannot read what any of this is. I just can't. <laughs> I can't read any of this text. Everything else looks amazing. But there's something going on with the video here. I cannot understand a thing that's being said here. And I'm the one that made this video. <laughs> um, yeah, okay. So text is honestly looking significantly better. Video quality maybe needs some improvement. Overall, I have to say, using this Simul OS was a pretty good experience. I honestly am pleasantly surprised by how well the Simula, uh, Simula OS works. Text was definitely much easier to read in most cases. The only complaint that I did kind of have was with videos. I actually got a YouTube video, one that I actually put together over on VR Playground, and one of the big issues that I have when trying to actually view this video is I could not read any of the text that I was displaying in Unreal Engine, which is really annoying and kind of disappointing. Uh, if you're trying to watch a video like that, you obviously want to be sure that you can follow along that tutorial. But there's some really there's some really good promises to using the Simula OS. You could have a full virtual workspace, complete 360 around you, and be able to have Firefox, Terminal, you could have uh, Unreal Engine, Unity, you could have games running, perhaps. They, they do say that Simula OS isn't meant for games, and that would kind of be my only concern in using this. I did notice while watching that video too, there was a little bit of choppiness to it. It wasn't terrible. I certainly wouldn't call it unviewable. It's something that I could definitely follow along with, but I did definitely notice that it looked just a little bit choppy. Um, but other than that, everything about the way that Simula works is really nice. The other thing that you would obviously need to take the time to learn is they have a whole, whole bunch, a whole list of various different commands that you'll probably have to learn a little bit of. Some of these commands are actually mirrored to something like your motion controllers, and those commands are shared between both your left and right controller. But if you're trying to not use your controllers at all and you just want to use your keyboard and mouse, then you're going to have a whole variety of brand new commands that you're going to have to learn on your keyboard. Everything from zooming in, zooming out, increasing the size of a window, um, opening up your applications bar, all of that kind of stuff is going to require you to kind of learn things a little bit differently. The other thing that I will say is I couldn't figure out how to move around windows. I feel like it probably shouldn't have been as difficult as it probably is. Um, I tried just hitting the grip button and it just wouldn't work. And for all I know, that's just an issue with the index specifically. But let me know your thoughts. I, I wanna know what you guys think of the Simula OS. Is it something you guys have viewed? Is it something you guys see potential in? Let me know down in the comments below. And while you're down there, consider hitting the like and subscribe button if you enjoyed this video. And with that, I'll see you in the next reality.